they need to know what the CAP survey is about and how they impact it and what they can do to help support you with your CAP survey results. So just like, again, I take it back to a HEDIS measure. When you address a HEDIS measure, you address it with the providers, you address it with the members. You need to do the same thing with CAPS. The provider offices need to know what impact they're having on your CAPS rating by helping them understand how their practices impact your CAP score. Yeah, I think, you know, every, this whole thing, I think we're going to see, we talked about trends earlier. I think that the trend that David brought up earlier and you guys have kind of um, enhanced is this, this movement of CAPS and the like moving towards more of a numerator denominator type situation and the availability of these predictive modeling companies that are out there and, and enabling stuff like that. I think I think we're going to see a real shift to that, and probably sooner than than we even imagine. Totally yeah, I would agree. say. Yeah, I think predictive analytics, and, and I think voice of the customer, right? Voice of the member. I think you know I'm I'm seeing more interest in those, and more work being done by vendors on those to create you know compelling and actionable voice of the member programs where. We collect all these signals across the organization, post experience surveys, et cetera, and then um, we, you know, we, we act on that data. So we're not just collecting it for reporting purposes, but we actually act on it, resolve the pain point, close the loop right. with the member, right? And I think, uh, yeah, I think you, you have to do all of that, right? The predictive analytics, the no negative surprises, the communication outreach, et cetera. There's, you can leave no stone unturned and in um, caps especially.